Welcome to Blend, the West Coast Premier DJ Institute. My name is Andrew B. It's DJ Slide. And we're going to be at the Mobile Beach Show. We're going to be teaching a lot of classes. If you want, I'll show you around the school. Let's go. We got a little studio for our people. This is our DJ classroom. Forgive the mess. We're actually busy DJs. We work. So we're going to be teaching a bunch of different classes. Uh, we're going to have three different workshops available at the Mobile Beach Show. We're going to teach the intro to DJing, intro to turntablism, which is the scratching portion, and then we're going to teach intro to VJ. So please join us then. See you soon. Uh, we uh, found where the chorus is, we want to place the cue point here, which is the one. As you can see on the waveform here, you notice that the, this little portion here is very thicker than the rest. So once we clearly understand that that's the one, we put the cue point here. Um, I really consider, I really find it very important to actually color code your cue points because each of these uh, cue points will represent something to you. So for me, I always know that red symbolizes intro, and two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, one. Which is coming up, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And at this point, I could not clearly see that these waveforms in the center are aligned with each other. And when I feel confident enough, now I can bring the volume up. Here, everything's in sync, everything's properly being beat back with each other, and I fade this out. And at that point, and we're able, we were able to mix the songs properly, but we did it on the knob all the way down instead of fading it out completely. So when my cue point comes up, which is in a matter of seconds, remember beat match the song. One, two, three. And at this point, now I can start it in, doing my minor adjustments here, once I know that the perfect is straight, now I can start slowly using the filter. And that's how it works. So, so now, now that I feel the music, I feel confident that this track is going to be beat matched properly with this one. So I can do it at this point, I can do it. I can do it. 